In September of 2023, we dropped FTK 8.0, the latest version as of September 2023 of FTK, and with it came a lot of changes. So we're going to make some videos covering those changes, some feature focuses, that sort of thing, showing what is new, what is changed, and honestly, why you should care that FTK 8.0 is out. All right, so you've come to the website, you've clicked to purchase and you click buy now, you pick which one you want and you add it to cart, you've installed it, now what? Well, let's go and jump in FTK. We'll cover one of the new features with FTK 8.0, let's go. When you load up FTK into its smart review interface, you'll see the view options over on the top right. So the feature we're going to cover today is the smart grid view or just called smart grid. So we'll go ahead and select that. And what populates in here are the counts of files that meet the criteria based on the column set that you have chosen. So if I come in here and I select something else, let's say we want to see what the user has interacted with. And we want to be able to filter down based on different criteria associated with that user activity. So we'll come to summary information and we'll grab recent and we're going to come down here to recent files and folders specifically lnk files because we want to see hey what is the user interacted with what kind of shortcuts they got etc what populates in is the usernames that have done various things you can see some system stuff in there and some user stuff you have some file names extensions paths dates etc so there's a couple different things and it depends on what you wanted to do that you could do here. First, I'll scan over to kind of see what we have in our list here. And I can see a drive type column and it's drive removable, drive unknown and drive fixed. Well, depending on the type of case, you probably are interested in drive removable. Whether you're law enforcement working a CSAM case, you might want to see, hey, have they moved CSAM to one of these devices? Do we have all these devices? to analyze, do we need to go back in and look for some more? If you're enterprise or corporate or federal, you might be looking for removable devices for data exfiltration or something like that. So, you know, this could be useful information. So we can go ahead and select drive removable and click apply. And now the information drops down and reduces to what is just drive removable. And we can see the volume serial numbers and then the volume names of the drive removables that were plugged into this machine. So we could just start at the top, we'll just select good guy and we'll hit apply. And then that filters down based on these two uh, criteria. And you can see drive type up here and volume name we have activated. And if we were to scan over, you can see the file names of those things that the user, a user, right, has interacted with on that jump drive. You can see the extensions and also the usernames of the system that were logged in at the time these files were interacted with. So let's say, hey, Timothy is the uh, you know username of interest here. And so I can filter down to Timothy. And now we know that, hey, these are the two files that were interacted with. It was mounted as drive G when Timothy was logged in. We have some date information okay and associated with that stuff we could switch over to the grid view at this point and take a look at the various link files jump lists recent stuff um, associated with these and go out and find to see hey do we have this information do we have these files etc so smart grid is a super easy way to filter down the information even from the top level. We hadn't applied any other filters. We were looking at the whole image and we just used that to get to where we wanted to be. Okay, so I could clear all this as well. And we could come at it from a different direction as well. Let's say we come into the artifacts and we're going to look at say images. Okay, we wanna look at some graphic image files. Um, we have our big list here of stuff. We could look at the thumbnail view and see more You know, in a thumbnail view but we wanna narrow down. We have filters in various locations, but this again gives you a visual idea of what's happening. Notice that graphics was automatically populated in there, so I didn't have to switch anything up here because graphics auto selects when you select images, okay? So you could narrow it down by file type, created date, 
Uh, we can scan over, we have exif make, so you have your devices here in make and model. You even have latitude and longitude stuff, the geotag city, all this sort of things you can use to bring it down and get an idea. So let's say, okay, they've got a lot of Canon uh, models here. We don't know exactly. We just know, hey, they were taking pictures with a Canon. So we can hit apply on that. And everything's going to filter down to just the the attributes that are associated with the Canon. And notice that we have, you know, our models here. We have some last modified dates, some file names. Okay, they all have X if it appears that sort of thing so we can see um that sort of data and then we could say okay hey i only care about the created date of april 9th 2020 and we hit apply and then that comes down and of course this is just very visual in how it goes so we can switch over to the thumbnail view and we just have those with the canon now i see that we have two pages we can either click over to the next page or i could just crank this up to 200 and get all of our stuff on one page either way so the smart grid can be a good starting position and you can use that to filter down your evidence or if you've used something like out of the artifacts uh drop down here you can get a head start to where hey i want to look at images you come over to smart grid and it's going to auto populate you know the column set and you're ready to look at the data that matters to you. So that's Smart Grid. And again, it's a very cool spot to start. Filter down your evidence very visually so you can see what's happening, how your data is going to play out when you go to look at it so that, hey, you don't waste your time with, dip, with things that really aren't going to give you the results that you want. All right, so stay tuned for more videos on specific features related to the FTK 8.0 release. Again, that was in September of 2023. And also be on the lookout. I'm going to do a larger demo of the new features for 8.0 that pairs up with the demo that is currently on the channel, which is the 7.0 version of FTK. So if you want a more comprehensive look at 8.0 all in one, big long video i'll chapter that up but be sure to check that out as well and again make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we'll be releasing these on a fairly regular cadence at least once a week for the next little bit and you want to get up to date on those features as soon as possible thanks for watching